All right, we're looking at the rear end of a Harley Davidson FXR. Now, new and old Harleys alike, I've noticed, have the axle put in from the right side of the bike to the left side of the bike. And the right side of the bike is where the muffler is. So in order to remove the rear wheel and replace it, you have to move the muffler out of the way. In this case, I've dropped it down a little bit, but you have to either take the muffler all the way off or just get it loose and hang it down like I've done here. So my question for my local Harley shop was, instead of having the axle go in this way, can I flip it around and have the nut be right here? So you, so you have the nut behind the muffler and then have the, the bolt end of it on this side of the bike where there's plenty of clearance and you don't have to remove anything at all. That'd make it a whole lot easier to change the brakes, change the rear tire and everything else. And they told me that the answer is yes, and that's what they do with bikes that they're going to be working on. You know, a regular customer's bike, they'll flip it around. So rather than have the nut end, rather than have the, uh, the bolt end, they have the nut end on the muffler side. And that way you don't have to mess with the mufflers, don't have to risk... You know, screwing anything up, damaging your mufflers, uh, not putting it on tight enough and having it fall on the road later on. And it's just speeding up the whole process. So that's what I'm going to do in the case of changing my rear tire. Um, it made me wonder why the factory would do it this way. Why they would have it go in that way versus have the nut on this side. And I'm not sure. You know, my, my local shop didn't really have an answer for me. It's possible that if the nut came off of the other end of this and it started working its way loose, it would hit the muffler and your wheel wouldn't fall all the way off, whereas if there was nothing to stop it, like on this end, then it might work its eye all the way out and you'd, uh, your wheel would fall off. But that's so unlikely that I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just flip the, flip the axle around, making sure that I've got all the same spacers in the same places that they were when it was in its original position. So hopefully this will save you some time going forward. Next time you change your tire, just flip the axle around and you'll find that it's a lot easier to do next time.